So you're telling me that you have over 7,000 hours in this game. 7,000 hours is correct. But recently you have been permanently banned? Yes, I have been permanently banned. That means forever, man. Well, the big question on my mind, with all this time spent in one game just to get a perma ban, was it all worth it? Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Simply Syrup and I am so excited to have you here today. After playing a little bit of Gloria Victus myself, I knew that I had to make a video for this game, but I didn't feel like I really had the knowledge to give you guys good information. So I reached out to the community and I found a player with over 7 thousand hours in this game who just so happens to be permanently banned. This player who goes by the name of Macy is also a fellow YouTuber. Link in the description below to his channel. And he is without a doubt the top authority on everything Gloria Victus. So I am going to pass the mic over to him and we are going to discuss things like gameplay, graphics, overall enjoyment, and the combat system, all in an effort to try to answer that question. Was all this time spent in game worth it? And should you, as a player, be considering picking up Gloria Victus on launch day today? But before we get into the video, I just wanted to take a quick moment to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content so we can continue to grow together. And with that, I'm going to give you a quick description of the game just so you better understand what you're getting into. So pulled directly from the Steam page, Gloria Victus is an MMORPG with an emphasis on realism set in a low fantasy medieval open world. Enjoy MMO with skill-based, non-target combat, open PvP with territory control, deep crafting systems, and a player-driven economy. All that served with beautiful graphics and an immersive atmosphere. Let's just jump right into it, Macy. I guess my first question to you would be, what makes Gloria Victus stand out from other MMOs? Gloria Victus is nothing like your typical MMO. There's persistent warfare happening in the world all around you, so there's always an objective to play towards on the map. This means your endgame experience is always changing. For example, if you need a certain material and that location you normally go to is under control by the enemy, you're either going to have to fight for it back or find an alternative location. Especially in the context of sieges, this isn't a typical MMO trait. So that is a little bit different than most MMOs, and honestly kind of not what I was expecting. So you're saying instead of the typical MMO where you're constantly doing fetch quests or killing mobs, the game is actually centered around large scale battles. That is pretty interesting to me and not what I expected at all. Tell me, what are these battles like? These battles can be massive. Anywhere between 100 to 300 players in a single state of war. And hopefully, with the hype of full release, they'll be happening non-stop all over the map. Of course, battles that big can get overwhelming, so if you need a little break, there's also an arena with 1v1s and group duels. I think overwhelming was probably the perfect word usage right there. Even in a game like Bannerlord, I don't think they were putting that many characters on screen. I could be wrong, but certainly never real live players. So that is a little bit insane in my opinion. But anyway, I think one of the things that new players will be interested in are these large battles. But the reality may be a little bit different. What should new players to the game really be expecting? I highly advise players to rush the quests leading up to level 60. Once you're level 60 and you have some mastery tiers unlocked, you can pretty much step into endgame content and learn how to PvP with the big dogs. This is completely possible to do within your first day of playing. Well, one thing that I think we absolutely have to put in this video is what we were just talking about before we started recording. 
And that's how you were saying that Gloria Invictus is really good at getting the players in the door, but not the best at keeping them playing. What do you think the reason is for so many new players losing interest in the game? The tutorial. It is so far from what it needs to be. The combat in Gloria Victus is unfamiliar to most in an MMORPG setting. Even if they've played directional combat games, players still seem to fall into this mindless spam clicking pattern where they're unable to observe what's happening to them in real time. After a while they get frustrated and quit. It's crucial we set up players with the tools to succeed early on. Gloria Victus is the type of game that when you die, you should be able to see exactly where you made mistakes and then improve on that. That is absolutely hilarious to me because I know for a fact that I was spam clicking the entire time on my first time in the game. I didn't even realize that there was that power meter that comes up when you're doing combat. I was certainly just clicking buttons, but you also mentioned about the tutorial. Everyone out there who's watching this video and has made it this far, I like to think of my channel as a second tutorial for the game. Most of what we do here is actually try to bring good solid information to light. So if you go through and play through the tutorial and you still don't really understand what's going on, you may want to come back and check this channel out because I may have some really, really helpful videos out there waiting for you. And that was a pretty shameless plug, but moving on here, this game does feature an interesting directional combat system with a twist. Do you mind explaining that for just a moment? If it isn't obvious already, the combat system takes inspiration from Mountain Blade. In Gloria Victis, you will see a power bar that helps you identify quick swings from heavy swings. You will also have attack indicators on enemies, which are meant to help you block correctly. This is a very new player inclusive feature. Directional combat of course means you swing your weapon and block in the direction that you're moving your mouse. There is no lock on targeting. Yeah, the no auto locking feature is certainly interesting for an MMO and I really thought in my first playthrough that the combat was pretty fun. I think if Gloria Victus is going to make a claim anywhere to be a special game, it's going to come from its combat system. But I know one thing that I absolutely have to include in this video or else we could not call it a review is the graphics. And to me, the graphics were just okay, but I haven't really played many MMOs in my time. And I was kind of wondering if the graphics were really good, really bad, or kind of just par for the course with MMOs. These developers have a hard time choosing their losses. They have a very small budget and this game has been in development for a long time. They're not going to do everything better although I'm sure they want to. The truth of the matter is they've spent too much time on trying to improve the graphics because there's always going to be a better option out there. The graphics are fine but there's much stronger points of interest in Gloria Victis. Yeah, I think fine is a good way to put it. You won't really be blown away by anything, but you also won't be turned off by anything either. And kind of some of what you just said, talking about the developers, is going to lead me into my next question that I wanted to ask. You've been around this game for so long, looking at the content updates. What do you think is going to be next for this game? Guild battles, otherwise known in this game as State of Wars, have historically been the player base's favorite activity. This is where you get your largest battles, this is where you get the most drama, and for the most part this is where people have the most fun. Seeing as how it's temporarily disabled, I'd imagine there's a huge rework behind the functionality of these guild battles to make sure they're happening more frequently. Guild battles, okay. I can see where that could get very very interesting well i think i have one more question for you today macy i really appreciate you coming by the channel and helping me out and for everyone out there watching please remember the name mace 47 or click that link below to go check out his channel if you see his videos in the future he will be a friendly face for you to know and well macy i think my last question for you today is going to be about your overall enjoyment with over 7,000 hours spent in game just to get permaband never to be able to play again 
I wanted to know if you could go back, would you do things differently? Would you still spend the time in the game? What are your thoughts? 7,000 hours in my favorite game? Absolutely it was worth it. I made a lot of friends, I made a lot of great memories, and I'm ready to play more. I definitely wish I wasn't banned, but the trolling was fun too. Well, there you have it everybody. That was Macy giving his thoughts and honest opinions on Gloria Victus. Please remember if you enjoyed the video to consider subscribing to the channel because we'll have lots more great informative content coming out very soon that you won't want to miss. Until next time, this is Simply Syrup signing off.